hope that is by use exam prep and guys so we are here with the next paper of isro you know we are solving the isro papers year wise we have already seen 2020 paper and we are now reaching at 21 2014 okay and as i promise you every week we are coming up with one of the paper so today entire mechanical team will be solving this isro 2014 paper in front of you guys okay so please tell me am i properly audible and visible to all of you or not yes okay so guys we are moving further now so this is some detail about me and guys in this paper i will be taking the subject strength of material machine design and production these three subjects i will be taking and chandra shekhar sir will take fluid mechanics thermal part and suraj gopi sir will take uh, theory of machine engineering mechanics and heat and mass transfer and industrial engineering okay so are we ready guys are we ready yes so guys this is the workshop will be taken by rakesh talreja sir and that will be on 20th of june at 7:30 pm okay so this is how to waste gate in 8 months you can join this workshop and register for this workshop for free and guys now we are without wasting the time starting the questions this is the very first question from synth of material okay i am also putting the number this is first question and it is from synth of material synth of material if you see this question this type of question have been also asked in gate before the question says that a rigid bar with wires at b and c is shown in the figure below the cross sectional area of the bar of the wire at b is this much and at c is this much the wires are elastoplastic with a strength 250 mpa e value is 200 gpa the ultimate load p that can be applied to the rigid bar as shown in the figure that you need to find out this is a lengthy question if you see you must be able to see one thing that here load p is applied like this so when load p is applied like this this is 2 meter this is 1 meter and length of the wires are given to us here we have the hinge support so if we are going to say this is the axis of the bar so because of the load p you know that wire can obviously rotate about the hinge so you would be having the new position of the uh, load like this because of the deformation in the wire so my dear here the wire will be deformed and here also the wire will deform so i am giving the name of these wire this is wire number 1 this is wire number 2 so this will be delta 2 and this will be delta 1 so guys you can see that for such cases we are going for the symmetry we are going for the symmetry like we are having one triangle as this and other triangle as this so by symmetrical triangle because this angle is 90 this angle is common so angle 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 similarity is working pejal word good morning so angle 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 similarity is working here so pejal word this is isro 2014 paper we are going to solve it completely be there till last so how we will put it here delta 1 delta 2 i feel everybody understand that we can write delta 2 divided by this distance 3 is delta 1 divided by this distance 2 so you know that we can write delta 2 by delta 1 as 3 by 2 now my dear you know delta can be written as pl by ae so we can also write p2 l2 by a2 e2 divided by p1 l1 by a1 e1 all the dimensions are given to us you will equate it with 3 by 2 and with that you can find out the ratio of p1 by p2 so you will be getting the ratio of p1 by p2 from here i have solved it for you as 4 by 3 after putting all the values yes john philip sir are john philip every time you are coming with this thing <laughs> you are coming with two options sir which one is better are we playing here 50 50 kon banega karodpati <laughs> nit surat kal machine design versus nit varangal machine design nit varangal is better okay nit varangal is better finally what you are going to get you are every time asking with these two options sometime two of iit sometime two of nit okay so this is we are getting as 4 by 
द रेशियो ऑफ फोर्स इज इन दायर सो दिस विल बी हैविंग पी वन दिस विल बी हैविंग पी टू सो द रेशियो ऑफ पी वन बाय पी टू इज कमिंग आउट टू बी फोर बाय थ्री नाउ माई डियर यू नो दिस इज दिंज पॉइंट यू कैन टेक द समेशन मोमेंट एट ए टू बी जीरो वेन यू विल बी टेकिंग समेशन मोमेंट एट ए टू बी जीरो देन माई डियर यू कैन सी दैट this force will create anti clockwise anti clockwise and this p will create clockwise so you can write p into 2 is equals to this p1 is also at the same distance p1 into 2 plus p2 into 3 so this will give you the one equation between p1 and p2 this will give you the second equation between p1 and p2 okay here when we are talking about these two equation you must be aware of that we are going to find out the value of p actually okay so if you want to write down the ratio of uh, this p1 and p2 we are already knowing they are also given that the cross section area is this and they have also mentioned that 250 mpa the wire are elastoplastic with the strength of 250 mpa so they have given you the strength okay page number is saying the answer is c let me check it uh the answer is coming out to be what okay the answer is coming out to be not c actually okay c you are getting 100 kN okay so when we are having this equation you can also write the strength for the first wire as ultimate strength is mentioned to you sigma ultimate into a1 similarly you can find out the p2 as sigma ultimate into a2 and then my dear you will get the individual strength of p1 and p2 so when you will get the strength of p1 the strength of p1 will be coming out to be 66.67 okay and p2 will be coming out to be what p2 will be coming out to be around 50 kN so when you will be getting this you will put this value here then you will be getting the value of p and the p value will be coming out to be 141.67 okay but this is going to be the maximum value and you can see more than this value will cause the fracture so answer will be 100 kN okay so page number i have given right answer this is a lengthy question i can understand and now we are moving with the other questions all questions are not lengthy some are easy also okay this is a question where the fundamental natural frequency of the cantilever beam with point load p at the free end you need to find out so we are having the cantilever beam and this is the load p so you need to find out the omega n which is given as g by delta and this delta node is a static deflection so you can say this is going to be the delta node which is also denoted by y deflection and i feel everybody is aware why is written as pl cube upon 3 ei okay so you just need to put the value and get the answer what will be the answer for this one yes pejal word pejal word the units are radian per second you have given the answer of hertz just check it the units are radian per second you have given the answer of great 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 okay the answer will be a for this a will be the answer okay because 1 by 2 pi will not come rest thing will be same john it will be obviously decreasing because the paper was difficult this year okay it will be decreasing the structure which has the highest packing fraction of atoms this my dear is question number 3 from material science what will be the answer for this very good page al word what would be the answer for this one i feel everybody would be aware of that simple cubic have 0.52 fcc have 0.72 bcc have 0.68 and hcp have 0.72 what is going to be your answer can you tell me yes okay pejal word is saying a dear 
look at it carefully fcc and hcpr having the same that is how students are making mistake in this question this question have been asked two to three times in engineering services exam so it is copied from there so the answer will be d for this both a and c is it clear page alert other students are not answering okay moving to the question number 4 moving to the question number 4 this is from the pure bending of the curved beams although curved beams are not in the syllabus but 3 to 4 times before 2015 isro have asked the question from that okay it is not in syllabus but still they have asked so if they have asked this question repeatedly so i have taken this question for you and my dear when we are talking about this the bending stress for this is coming out to be m by ae y minus r so when we are having this okay uh, sorry this is r minus y okay this is going to be r minus y and when we are having this m y upon a e r minus y so this is having the function of r minus y in the denominator so by that we can say it is hyperbolic okay so answer will be d for this no issues here i am not expecting you to give right answer because this is a out of syllabus okay but still one to two questions are coming like that okay so answer will be hyperbolic for this so now we are having the metrology and inspection metrology and inspection in this paper paper was lengthy questions were lengthy okay especially from design part okay so like we also have one paper before like that as well okay so what will be the answer for this dimension of a shaft are this corresponding to hole is this maximum material condition so my dear for maximum material condition for maximum material condition we have maximum shaft size and minimum hole size that will be your answer maximum shaft and minimum hole size will be your answer for maximum material limit tell me what will be the answer for this question for maximum material limit we can say the size of shaft you need to take the maximum one the size of hole you need to take the minimum one so i feel you can see for the shaft 100 to 100.01 is the size for hole 100.02 to 99.99 is the size you can see okay okay that is no this is plus minus plus minus okay i am writing if you want 100 plus 0.01 minus 0.00 for hole it is plus 0.02 Minus zero point zero one. Now the answer is a very good. Shaft diameter is hundred point zero one. Hole diameter is yes, very good. Page L word. Moving further, guys, to the next question. This is once again from the production. Here they are saying select the correct answer. Cold rolling hardness impact loads wire drawing. Here we have indentation, ductility, malleability, resilience. you need to see which is associated with this and this we are having the question number 6 after me chandra shekhar sir will come with the thermal fluid part and then suraj sir will come for the hmt industrial what will be the answer for this one question number 6 yes i feel everybody is aware that hardness is related to indentation resistance to indentation is hardness so q is associated with 1 q is associated with 2 a is wrong q is associated with 3 c is wrong 
सो आइदर बी और डी कैन बी द राइट आंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देन माई डियर यू नो दैट वेन वी आर हैविंग दिस वायर ड्रॉइंग प्रोसेस ओके वायर ड्रॉइंग प्रोसेस इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद द डक्टिलिटी सो एस शुड बी एसोसिएटेड विद टू हेयर एस इज एसोसिएटेड विद टू हेयर विद फोर डी इज रॉन्ग बी इज द राइट आंसर वेरी गुड द रूटो वेरी गुड सो आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी बी फॉर दिस ओके सो विद टू ऑप्शन ओनली वी कैन गेट सो फाइनली वी गेट टू नो दैट नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड पी इज एसोसिएटेड विद थ्री so cold rolling is associated with malleability and impact loads are associated with resilience actually impact loading are associated with toughness but when toughness is not in option then you can tick the resilience okay yes very good pejal word moving to the question number 7 now my dear this is also a question of material science this is repeated 3 to 5 times in isro and drdo graphene so graphene is a completely non transparent or a tube shaped material made of carbon having a diameter measuring the nanometer scale or a two dimensional material consisting of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb or chicken wire structure what do you feel from that so guys do like and share the sessions yes do like and share the session so that other student also come okay i am telling you this is a graphite is a two dimensional material consisting of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb or chicken wire structure so you remember this because this is a repeated question okay no issues this type of question i am also not expecting ki aata hoga and that is why cut off goes very low for isro okay that is the reason next question is very easy from strength of material question number 8 so strain energy they are asking i feel this is strain energy in the case of axially loaded bar is expressed as okay yes what will be the answer for this question number 8 you know strain energy is Half into p into delta. Delta is P L upon A. Tell me the answer. Pejal Naruto, tell me the answer. Now I am finding that you guys are having low interest in P Y Q of Isro. Shall we close the P Y Q series now with this paper? or you want us to go till 2005 actually i was thinking to go up to 2005 very good hemant is saying the answer is d because papers are available from 2005 till 2020 great so answer will be coming out to be 1 by 2 into p into pl upon a it is going to be p square l upon 2a D will be the right answer. Now, my dear, one more very good Arun. Great, great Naruto. So, which one of the following statement is correct in case of curved beams? Okay, neutral axis is nearer to the center of curvature compared to centroidal axis. Neutral axis is farther to the center of curvature. Neutral axis matches with centroidal axis. Neutral axis shift. Above or below centroidal, and depending on the loading condition. Good evening, Arun. Uh, sorry, good morning, Arun. How are you? Yes, this is strength of material question. But as I said, curved beams is not mentioned in the syllabus. But still, one to two questions are coming. Okay. So, what do you feel? What will be the answer for this question? Yes, Pejal Wadi saying B. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Great, 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 Arun. 
so dear answer will be c for this actually what you are saying is that is said to be unsymmetrical bending when the bending is going to be unsymmetrical for the curved beams then only you can have that condition what you are saying okay so c will be the answer for this very good sachin so moving further to the next question it is once again from strength of material here i will expect everyone will give the right answer so you need to search for these questions because 80% questions are this type which you will be very easily answering 20% question will be like someone you would be having doubt into someone will be out of course someone you will be having lengthy question without kelsey so those question you need to attempt at the last because with those 80% only you can get selected okay pejal word is saying a okay look at it what he is saying mohar circle reduces to a point mohar circle is becoming a point once again look at it when this mohar circle comes this is coming when obviously as a result of this maximum shear stress becomes zero so please look at it and then answer the ruto have given the wrong answer Pejal world also have given the wrong answer. Arun, please look at it again. Sachin, what do you feel? So I am expecting exact and correct answer. This is something we have discussed a lot of times. No, dear, if you are having the state of stress like this, sigma, sigma. For this condition, you have all planes are principal. All planes are principal. So when all planes are principal, it means absolute tau max is zero. Sorry, tau max is zero. Tau max is zero possible when radius of Mohr circle is zero. So radius of Mohr circle is zero when it will become a point. And when you will be plotting it, this is the x phase. The state of stress is sigma comma zero. For y phase, the state of stress is sigma comma zero. So you will find both the point will coincide. So joining them will also give you point. And for a point, if you take the diameter, you will get the point again. Okay, D is the answer for this. D will be the answer. So guys, always remember, I am telling you, whenever you have Mohan circle like this, then the answer will be pure shear. Okay, and then the answer can be C also, because Mohr circle will be coming like this for two cases. Either we have pure shear case, or we have this case. For both these cases, you have the same Mohr circle. So always remember, for A and C, if it can be a MSQ, if they give you that Mohr circle is having center at origin, then it will be MSQ A and C will be correct. It can come in gate this year. Okay. Very good, Harish. Bahut hi badiya. Wonderful, guys. So, moving to the next question. And this was our question number actually 10th. Now, 11th question. To drill holes of size. Now, my dear, as this is the mechanical paper going on. So, this is question from production now. I am taking question from SOM, MD and production. To drill, to drill holes of size of this MM, which is the most appropriate process. Plasma drilling, CNC drilling, laser drilling or electro discharge drilling. Anybody? 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 Thanks, Arun. So what would be the answer for this? For this much small size hole, we need to go with which one? Plasma, CNC, laser or electro discharge drilling. Harish is saying D, E, D, electro discharge. Yes, Pajal word, what do you feel? Pajal word, what do you feel? So, I am going to take around 27 to 28 questions, okay? After that, Chandra sir will come. Pajal word is also saying D. Yes, so dear, I would like to say it is laser drilling. Okay, for this size ranges, we are going with the laser drilling. Okay. Ha, bilkul, bilkul, Arun. Uh, as this was not subject wise session, okay. But we are coming up with subject wise session. There you can attend SOM very easily. This is 
for mechanical paper this is going to be the next this is once again from material size perforation in aluminium plate occurs when it is connected with the mild steel plate and exposed to the same environment this phenomena is said to be galvanic corrosion cold welding corrosion crevice corrosion and high temperature corrosion now my dear this is the part of esc paper 1 material science so those who have prepared for gate they will not be able to answer this question that's why i say that whenever you prepare for isro if you want to cover everything then esc syllabus should be preferred but everything is not required mind it when i first time qualified the uh, exam of isro written at that time i also went with gate syllabus because cut off was very less okay so you can very easily qualify and this time yes it will be important written exam because 50% weightage is there at our time there was no weightage to written exam only you need to qualify it so here my dear i am sure that you may not be able to answer it the answer will be galvanic corrosion okay so why i am taking these questions so that they will be repeated at that time you must be able to answer it because these type of question they are not asking new question they are repeating them once again material science this is your gate part a mixture of chemical components or elements that have a single chemical composition and solidifies at lowest temperature then any other composition made up of the same ingredients okay this is phase balance system eutectic system binary thermally balanced system or intrinsic system this is from material science will you try pagel will you try hirsch will you try naruto tell me anybody okay naruto is saying b b is correct eutectic system is correct because when we are talking about the eutectic system you are going to have this type of diagram here this is the minimum temperature and this point is said to be the eutectic point because eutectic composition is having the minimum melting point temperature here if you go temperature will increase here if you go temperature will increase this is type 2 system of binary phase diagram and when we talk about the eutectic system here rolls law is also valid we are going with the rolls law what rolls law says whenever an element is added into other its solubility gets decreases okay moving further now my dear uh, okay this is from theory of machines okay that sura sir will take now this is from material science shock resisting steel should have higher stiffness hardness toughness or shear strength this you can very easily answer because i already told you who is going to resist the impact or shock so shock resisting steel should have higher very good higher toughness okay so toughness is going to be responsible property for taking the impacts aluminium crystal structure is fcc bcc hcp what is the crystal structure for aluminium crystal structure of aluminium very good for aluminium pagel word harsh is saying sorry harish is saying the correct answer hemant also dear fcc aluminium is fcc aluminium is not bcc are bhai aluminium is known for ductility na so i am telling you if you do not remember always remember one thing bcc are hard and brittle fcc are soft and ductile okay is it clear 
रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए गिवन वायर इज ऑप्टेड दिस इज वंस अगेन अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यूनिट्स एंड डायमेंशन बेसिक डिफरेंशियल आई फील यू नो वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर इफ यू गो फॉर डिफरेंशिएशन डी वी विल बी आई डी आर प्लस आर डी आई ओके देन माई डियर रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए गिवन वायर इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाय मेजरिंग द करंट फ्लोइंग इन इट द वोल्टेज डिफरेंस अप्लाइड अक्रॉस इट परसेंटेज एरर इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द करंट एंड वोल्टेज डिफरेंस आर थ्री परसेंट ईच देन एरर इन द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वायर विल बी ओके सो दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट the error in the resistance so you need to find out dr by r actually you need to find out dr by r okay so just try this i have given you the hint okay you can also say dv by v di by i dr by r because in the product whenever things are there it is added up okay you can take the log actually if you want you can take log that ln v is equals to ln i plus ln r then you will go for differentiation it is dv by v di by i plus dr by r so you need to find out dr by r okay they have already given this is 3% each so yes tell me the answer what will be dr by r what will be dr by r yes they have said that dv by v is 3% and di by i 3% so what is dr by r you can write it as dv by v minus di by i they have said error is 3% but they didn't say about plus or minus so my dear when you have this type of question they are saying it is 3% and obviously you can see there is no option like 0% so if this is positive this should be minus so that the answer will be 6% okay otherwise they must mention that one is positive other is negative everybody understood this how to solve it yes this is a new type of question but not new actually you have studied this in the units and dimension 11th class first chapter okay this question once again from strength of material once again from strength of material this is question number 18 point of contra flexion this everyone can give the right answer sachin hemant and pejal everybody understood na yes aspirant today you got late naruto is saying b aspirant is saying b s yes. harish hemant sachin very good abhi so the answer for this is b you know that when we are talking about the point of contra flexion it is the point where bending moment becomes zero and changes sign so answer is b for this great so guys this is a question from torsion once again strength of material this is question number 19 so i am going to solve around 27 to 28 questions for you okay then chandra sir and suraj sir will continue and okay i i forgot to share the pdf of last paper so today i will share all the pdfs to you 
शाफ्ट ए बी इज थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग एंड इज फ्री एट द लेफ्ट एंड सो फॉर दैट ज्वाइन बाई टेलीग्राम चैनल मैकेनिकल बाय धीरज सरदाना देर यू विल गेट द पी डी एफ टू डे ऑफ ऑल प्रीवियस पेपर एज वेल शाफ्ट ए बी इज थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग एंड फ्री एट द लेफ्ट ओके एंड फिक्स टोर्सली राइट इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू वेरिएबल टोर्क एज शोन इन द फिगर ओके दे हैव गिवन इट एज टू एक्स दे आर आस्किंग यू द टी बी सो यू नो दैट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टी बी इट विल बी इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ टी एक्स एक्स डी एक्स so if you take any section it is 2x so tb will be integration 0 to l 2x dx but they have not said 0 to l you can take it 0 to x only because answer is in the terms of x only what will be the answer okay answer is already there and you guys have said the answer to be 2x square okay it is going to be 2x square yes this is 2x so when you will be going for integration it will be 2x square by 2 na or have i made any mistake is it a or b A will be the answer. A, because two two will get cancel out, na Sachin. Yes, A will be the answer. Moving further. Question number twenty. There you can see the dimension is six meter. This value is three sixty newton per meter. This is W X X. Sorry, W. You know W X X as a function of is W into X by L. So if you want to write down the shear force, it is at a section area of the triangle half into W X X into X. What is bending moment equation? It is area of the triangle acting at its centroid at a distance of X by three. So it will be half into W X X into X into X by three. It will be W X cube by six L. So W X cube by six L. What is W? W is three sixty. And obviously, it is creating hogging, so minus sign will be there. So you would be having three sixty minus x cube by six into six. What will be the answer? Question number twenty. What will be the answer? It is minus ten x cube. This is the right answer. Very good, Abhi aspirant. Pajal, are you there or not? Naruto, Pajal. Very good. Hemant, Harish. Fine, guys. We are moving to the next question. This is question number twenty-one. Question number twenty-one. So the question says, consider the beam shown in the figure. The beam is simply supported at its left end, okay, and fixed at the rigid end. It carries a load that varies in intensity from zero to W. The reaction at A will be. The reaction at A will be. The reaction component at A will be. this is actually like this and you need to find out the reaction at a for that this is point a this is point b you need to say first of all 
आर ए प्लस आर बी इज इक्वल टू हाफ इंटू डब्ल्यू इंटू एल गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट इक्वेशन देन माइ डियर सेकेंड इक्वेशन विल बी डिफ्लेक्शन एट ए विल बी जीरो एंड यू नो वेन एवर वी हैव अ कैंटी लिवर बीम विथ दिस बिकॉज वी नीड टू अप्लाई सुपर पोजिशन यू कैन कंसिडर इट समेशन ऑफ टू केसेस so you can write deflection because of uvl and deflection because of point load so you will be having minus wl4 upon 30 ei plus ra l cube upon 3 ei equating it to zero because one is downward other is upward ei ei will get cancel out 3 will give you 10 here and you will be having ra L cube also get cancelled out. R A is equals to W L upon ten. Everybody understood. This is a very good question. Very very good question. So this level of question we are expecting in gate only, because for gate when we apply principle of superposition, we remember the result for them, and after applying we get the answer. But this paper of Isra was very lengthy. and specially for strength of material they asked the question up to the gate level so i'll suppose this is going to be a everybody got it please tell me that guys everybody got it this paper was slightly lengthy and difficult as other papers is it clear please tell me pejal naruto abhi aspirant sachin hemant great Moving to question number twenty second. A thin walled cylinder with closed end, for which inner radius is point five, outer radius is point five two, is subjected to internal pressure of two MPa. The absolute maximum shear stress on the inner surface of the cylinder is. Okay, so please tell me this is the thin cylinder case. This is question number twenty two. So just try to solve it. try to solve it i feel you know tau max for the thin cylinder you need to find out sigma 1 is pd by 2t sigma 2 is pd by 4t sigma 3 is 0 you need to go for absolute tau max absolute tau max is given as maximum of sigma 1 minus 2 by 2 2 minus 3 by 2 And one minus three by two. If you will see, this absolute tau max will be coming out to be sigma one minus sigma three by two, which is going to be sigma one by two, and this is going to be sigma one is P D by forty. For inner surface, you can put inner diameter, solve it, and get the answer. Solve it and get the answer. So answer for this question number twenty two will be: Is it thirty seven point five, seventy five, twenty six, or twenty four? As parent have said, C is the answer. Okay, but about others, I want answer from everyone. Everybody is saying C. Yes, Pajal, very good. So C is the right answer. C is the right answer. Twenty six MPa is the right answer. Okay, very good, Abhi. Very good. Moving to the question number twenty three. Once again, from the strength of materials. Once again, from the strength of materials. And this question is from axial loading. A point seven five meter aluminium bar of this cross section. Are attached to a point five meter steel bar. Okay, Young's modulus is given. Total shortening due to axial compressive load. Let us consider this to be bar number one. This to be bar number two. You need to find out delta total, which will be delta one plus delta two. But as the forces are compressive, this will be compressive in nature. So you can find out. force will be same for both the bar so pl1 upon 
ए वन ई वन प्लस पी एल टू अपोन ए टू ई टू दैट विल बी योर आंसर सोल्व इट वंस अगेन विदाउट कैलसी डिफिकल्ट लेंदी बट दिस वॉज पेपर लाइक दैट ओनली ओके here all the questions related to the design part were like that only so just try to solve it what will be the answer for this this is question number 24 tell me everybody are you getting this 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 and this if you are getting more than one then b will be the answer if you are getting less than one then a c d any one can be the answer this is a small hint from my side ha 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 that is 200 this is 200 not 20 This is misprint. Two hundred GPA. Okay, Pagel Word have given the answer to be B. So when you will find out the dear, you will get one point zero four one. So you can see that if you are going to have this, this is less than one, less than one, less than one. so from that logic you can directly say that answer will be b everybody got it abhi aspirant sachin so guys don't worry after me thermal questions will be coming they are easier than strength of material okay So don't worry. Okay, they are about to complete. My questions are about to complete now. Answer will be B for this one seventy five by one sixty eight. Moving to the next question. This is easy question. They are saying that power is forty kilowatt. They are saying the speed is F seventy five by pi hertz. You know omega is Two pi n by sixty. Okay, so you are saying this two pi n by sixty. So now frequency is known to us. So you know that we can find out the omega. Once you find out the omega, you know power is t into omega. So you will be getting the value of torque. Okay, just solve this. Okay, just solve this. You can also write omega as two pi f because frequency is already given in hertz. So omega will be two pi into seventy five by pi. Put it here, get the torque. That is your answer. Yes, Pajal. Don't worry, but actually, if it will be like that, this paper, this type of paper comes. Then my dear, it will be for everyone, na? So don't worry about that. But this time, return is having importance. Remember that. Answer is coming out to be eight hundred by three. Everybody is getting this. Very good, very good. You will be getting it to be two sixty six point six seven. So answer will be eight hundred by three newton meter. Very good, aspirant. Moving further. This is strength of material again. You can see the weightage of foam is very high in this paper. material size and production was lesser in this paper soam was quite high okay here soam weightage was the highest for this paper okay and production weightage was less in general we have seen material size weightage was more in every paper but this paper have different okay so you can have a simply supported beam is shown in the figure the location of the point of maximum moment in the beam from reaction rl even they have calculated the reactions for you 8 and 4 you need to find out the maximum bending moment you can use one thing here 
that we will be having the maximum bending moment where shear force is changing its sign. Okay, so you can see here we have 8 kilonewton. You need to find out the distance after which you will have 8 kilonewton downward. So that upward 8, downward 8 will become 0. So you need to find out that x. You can also write down the equation plus RL minus W into x. Equate it to 0 and get the value of x. Very easy question. Yes, everybody, aspirant is saying 8 by 3, what about others? What about others? Very good. Answer will be 8 by 3, because the equation is 8 minus 3x is 0. x will be 8 by 3, so here you will get the maximum bending moment where shear force is changing its sign. Moving to the next question guys, this is once again strength of material question and this is question number 27 from my side. A 20 kilonewton weight is suspended by two wires as shown in the figure. These are two wires, aluminium and steel. You know, for such cases, the very first equation is delta of aluminium is equal to delta of steel. Then they are saying the length of each wire is 2 meter. Length are same. Steel wire is this. Cross section is this. Okay. So, you can write P A L A E A A A P S L S A S E S Equation number 1, second is PA plus PS is equals to P, which is 20 kilonewton. These are two equations and you need to find out the stress in aluminium. So, sigma of aluminium is P of aluminium divided by area of aluminium. Okay, from these two equations you can find out PA and PS. Solve it and get the answer. Without Kelsey, they are difficult. But if paper is coming, they are asking what I can do. I need to solve the paper only. Na? This is the last question from my side. This is the last question from my side. Then I will call Chandra sir to join us. Maybe he would be with us only. Yes. So you guys calculate till then. I am trying to call Chandra sir. Okay, Chandra sir is already with us. So this is the last question. After that, Chandra sir will join us for thermodynamics, RAC, power plant, IC engine, fluid mechanics, fluid machinery. And after that, Suraj sir will come for TOM, mechanics, heat transfer and industrial engineering. What would be the answer for this one? Okay. Shall I give you the answer? You will get this. You will get this. 7 by 102 GPA. So, answer will be D. Okay. This is the last question actually. This is the last question. A bar of bronze and bar of steel are placed between two immovables. These are two steel, bronze, bronze and steel. And they are saying that all the dimensions are given. They have given all the dimension. They are just asking you if temperature drops by 50 degrees Celsius, then the stresses in the bar will be tension, compression, shear or none of these. Just answer this question, then I will... Hand over to Chandra sir. 
no calculation required here. They are saying temperature drop by 50 degrees Celsius. Then member will be in which stress. But to confuse you, to waste your time, they have given the data that you will try to solve it. Dear, they are saying temperature drops. So, 50 degree Celsius temperature drop. When temperature drop is having the bronze and the steel, they will try to contract. If they will try to contract, if this will try to contract, if this will try to contract like this, then this, then this support will try to maintain it by applying the tension. Similarly, when steel will try to compress, this will apply a tensile force because they will not allow the contraction to happen because they are fixed support. So, they will be keeping at that distance only. So, that is why the stresses will be tension. When temperature increases, we have compression. When temperature reduces, we have tension. Okay. Yes, when temperature is reducing, length would be reducing but to maintain it till fixed support reactions will be tensile so that will create the tensile stresses in the members everybody understood the answer is going to be a very good very good shreya you got it please tell me that shreya you got it please tell me that it is tension everybody got it okay guys so here i am sharing or transferring the session to the Chandra sir. Now he will come for the thermal fluid part. So goodbye from my side. I will share the PDF in the telegram channel mechanical by Dheera Sardana. You can join that. Goodbye from my side. Hello everyone. Can you guys hear me? Am I audible and visible to everyone? Hi Pajal world aspirant. Please guys do let me know if my audio and visual quality are fine. All right. Good morning guys. Welcome to this beautiful session. We are discussing ISRO 2014 previous paper. Welcome guys. Welcome. Please sit back, relax and enjoy this session till the end. And please do participate. Please do share your answers through the comment section. So this is my quick introduction for those who are here for the very first time. We will not take much of your time. But yes, for solving the questions, for discussing the solution, it requires some more time than you appearing in the examination, right? So this is my quick introduction for those who are meeting me for the very first time. Mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi, having more than 10 years of teaching experience in GATE, IES and PSUs and also cleared engineering services examination worked in steel authority of india limited yes good good con hai jo bar bar uh hurt bhej rahe welcome guys welcome namaskar adab suprabhat good morning this is my mail id you can join me on the telegram that is mechanical by chandra shekhar the link is also there at the bottom of the screen shall we start Please keep your pen and notebook and try to solve the question. Another PYQ series is running on our Baiju's YouTube channel. That is previous five year gate questions, right? So today at 5 p.m. Do not forget to join me for the heat transfer part two. The previous question 2021, 2022 and 2023 questions will be discussed for the heat transfer in today's YouTube session at 5 p.m., right? And there is a workshop at 7.30 tonight taken by Rakesh Talreja, sir. Do not forget to join this workshop also. If you have not registered yourself, the registration is completely free. You can register yourself by the, through the link mentioned in the description box. All right, so let us start with the question number one. I am having around 26 to 27 questions in total. So I will try to finish by 1 p.m. All right. But but your participation, your support will be highly appreciated. What is the answer to this question? When the flow is steady, incompressible and laminar between two stationary parallel plates, 
we can call it as poise dule flow the velocity distribution is what is the nature of velocity distribution no aspirant whether there is a laminar flow in pipe or laminar flow between parallel plates the velocity profile is parabolic the velocity profile is parabolic there are two types of internal flow we discuss in our fluid mechanics the question is from the fluid mechanics and the the section is internal flow the laminar flow in a pipe the velocity profile is parabolic for laminar flow between large parallel plates also the the profile is parabolic right c is the correct answer let us move to the next question this was asked previously in gate exam i think or IES I think it was asked in IES exam there are two pipelines of equal length length is constant are connected in series when the pipes are connected in series do you agree discharge remains constant when the pipes are connected in series the discharge remains constant when the pipes are connected in parallel losses remains same the diameter of the second pipe is twice that of the first pipe the we need to find out the ratio of head loss between the first and the second pipe yes everyone what is the answer so according to darcy westbeck equation we can write hl to be flq square upon 12.1 d to the power 5 if nothing is mentioned about the friction factor we can assume it as constant length is given constant discharge is constant so we can say hl is inversely proportional to d to the power 5 we need to find out the head loss between first and second pipe so hl1 by hl2 is equal to d2 by d1 to the power 5 and what is d2 d2 is twice of d1 so it is 2 to the power 5 that is nothing but 32 it will not be a it will not be 1 is to 32 it will be 32 is to 1 well done arnab dekh raha hai vinod good good aspirant great please keep it up yes shreya good option b is the right answer for this one let us move to the next one the velocity potential function phi satisfies the laplace equation what we can conclude from this the laplace equation is also given there was no need to mention the laplace equation we can call it as del square phi is equal to 0 this is equation is called as laplace equation so when the velocity potential function satisfies laplace equation the flow is irrotational phi exists only for irrotational flow so the flow must be ideal that is the reason potential flow is also called as ideal flow the potential flow is also known as ideal flow what is the answer to this one what will be the answer to this one steady incompressible and irrotational the 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 flow for which velocity potential function exist is ideal flow and ideal flow is the one which is steady incompressible and irrotational in single word we can call it as ideal flow option c will be the right answer yes as friend naruto good 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 vinod arnab aapka naam vaki vinod hai ya kuch aur hai let us move to the next one this is beautiful actually this question is beautiful try to solve this one for a two dimensional potential flow the velocity potential function is given by this expression ayush okay ayush all right the numerical value of the stream function at 2 comma 3 is the one who will get me the correct answer for this question will get a chocolate ayush iska answer bataiye so first of all you need to understand or you need to remember the relation between phi and psi stream function is psi so according to cauchy riemann equation u is minus of del phi by del x is equal to del psi by del y isn't it and v is equal to minus of del phi by del y is equal to minus of del psi by del x these are known as cauchy riemann equation all right now we can say psi will be a function of x and y because it is two dimensional flow because phi is a function of x and y so psi will be a function of x and y if we differentiate this if we differentiate this can we write d psi is equal to del psi by del x into dx plus del psi by del y into dy do you agree now can you put the value of 
del psi by del x and del psi by del y in terms of phi because we know phi. What is del psi by del x? Is equal to del phi by del y, isn't it? Can we write d psi is equal to, let me hide myself. What is del psi by del x? Isn't it del phi by del y into dx? What is del psi by del y? It is minus of del phi by del x. Minus of del phi by del x into dy. Do you guys understand it? Now, what is del phi by del y from the velocity potential function? Differentiate phi with respect to y. What will you get? 4 into 3, 30. Uh, it is actually, can I write phi is equal to, let me write, phi is equal to 12xy minus 16x. This is the expression actually. So what is del phi by del y? Isn't it 12x into dx minus, what is del phi by del x? Del phi by del x, isn't it 12y minus 16 into dy? Do you understand it or not? Now let me again integrate it. If we integrate, psi will be equal to 12 into x square by 2 first term minus 12 into y square by 2 another term. It will become plus 16y. Do you guys understand this or not? Please give me yes. This is the expression, sorry. This will be the expression for psi. Do you get it? It is requires time. So it is 6 square minus 6y square plus 16y. So psi will be equal to, psi is equal to 6x square minus 6y square minus 16y. Isn't it? Sorry, plus 16y plus 16y and at 2 comma 3 if we want to find out the value at 2 comma 3 can we put the values so it will be 6 into 2 square minus 6 into 3 square plus 16 into 3 what is the answer what is the final answer Twenty four minus 54 plus 48 how much is that Forty-eight, fifty-eight, sixty-eight, seventy-two minus fifty-four. What is seventy-two minus fifty-four? Isn't it eighteen? Eighteen units. Isn't it eighteen units? So the answer will be no. It is not twenty. No, it is not twenty. It will be eighteen units. Isn't it? Do you get it or not? Please give me yes, yes or no. Who had given me the right answer? But after me solving the question, Arnav, well done, Ayush, good, 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 yes, 18 will be the correct answer. The question is a little lengthy, but not, not tough. The tough calculations are not involved in this expression. Next question, let us move to the next one. This is question number 5. I am having 27 question in total. So the velocity distribution in a turbulent boundary layer is given by u by v. We can either call it as v we can either call v to be u infinity that is the free stream velocity what is the displacement thickness first of all you need to remember the dis formula for displacement thickness what is displacement thickness integration 0 to delta 1 minus u by u infinity into dy if you put the values delta star is equal to integration 0 to delta 1 minus that is y by delta to the power 1 by 7 into dy can you do the integration so it will be y the limit will be 0 to delta minus it will be 1 by delta to the power 1 by 7 isn't it that is constant y to the power 1 by 7 into dy how much is that 1 by 7 plus 1 8 by 7 so it will be y to the power 8 by 7 and the limit will be 0 to delta into 7 by 8 do you get it so expression will be delta minus, it will be 7 by 8 into delta to the power 8 by 7 upon delta to the power 1 by 7. So delta minus, it will be, how much is that? 8 by 7 minus 1 by 7, 7 by 7. So it will be 7 by 8 delta. 
वन माइनस सेवन बाई एट डेल्टा दैट इज वन बाई एट डेल्टा डेल्टा विल बी इन द न्यूमरेटर एक्चुअली वॉट इज द आंसर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस वन इज एंट इट ऑप्शन डी D will be the right answer. If you remember the formula for displacement thickness, the question is from the laminar boundary layer theory. Then the answer will be: it is simple integration. And once you do the integration, you will get delta by eight. D is the right answer. Yes, Shreya, well, well done, good, good, good. What about others? Only four, five students are giving me the answer. Why others are not able to solve the question? is the time is the time insufficient do you find the time to be insufficient please improve your speed in isro exam two things are important one is the speed and the other other one is the accuracy so the next question on your screen question number 6 question number 6 the specific weight that is gamma Rho into g, the specific weight of ocean water changes according to the equation given by this. W is equal to W naught, W naught plus C root h. अच्छा, अच्छा. Okay, so I will give you time to solve. ठीक है. W naught is the specific weight of ocean water at the free surface and C is constant. The pressure as a function of depth is given by what is the answer to question number six? Yes, let me know the answer to question number six. The question is from the hydrostatic law. The case question is based on hydrostatic law. So we can say according to hydrostatic. Law dP by dH. H is the depth from the free surface. We can also call it as Z or any other parameter. dP by dZ is equal to rho into g. And what is rho into g? That is W. Yes. Now that is how you have solved the question correctly. Yes, option C is the right answer. So dP is equal to W. What is W? That is W naught plus C root H into dH. You need to do the integration and get the answer. Do the integration and get the answer. I hope everyone will be able to solve it. Every one of you. Yes, well done, aspirant Naruto, Arunab, Ayush. P is given by W naught H plus C H to the power one by two plus one. That is three by two. So it will be H to the power three by two into two by three. That will be. The variation of pressure with depth from the free surface. Option C is the correct answer. The next one, question number seven. The next one is question number seven on your screen. Try to solve this one. The model of a propeller. The question is from model analysis, dimensional and model analysis. The model of a propeller three meter in diameter. So this is the diameter of the prototype cruising at 10 meter per second. That is the velocity of the prototype. P for prototype and M for model. P stands for prototype. M stands for model. The model of a propeller, three meter in diameter, cruising at 10 meter per second in air. That is the prototype is having air. Is tested in a wind tunnel on a one is to ten scale model. If the thrust of fifty newton is measured on the model, that is F M. At five meter per second, that is V M. Then the thrust on the prototype will be. Can you guys solve the thrust on the prototype? The force exerted on the prototype will be how much? The question is to find out the force on the prototype. This is the diameter of the prototype. Diameter of the prototype. Diameter of the propeller. The diameter of the propeller is three meter and cruising at ten meter per second. That is the velocity of the propeller. And this is the geometric scale ratio. So can we say 
the thrust or the drag exerted is given by cd into area into rho u square by 2 cd into area into rho u square by 2 so can we write the drag force or the thrust is proportional to cd will remain constant because it is it depends on the shape of the body shape of the model and prototype are same it depends on the roughness of the surface and it depends on the reynold number because there is a dynamic similarity so the reynold number is also same so cd will be constant so we can say area is l square into rho rho is constant because wind tunnel and air are having the same density wind and air are having the same density so this is the expression do you understand this expression or not so if we want to write fp by fm then we will write lp by lm square into vp by vm square can you find out the answer so fp will be equal to force exerted on the model is 50 newton prototype is the bigger part and the small scale replica is the model do not write 1 by 10 10 is the dimension of the prototype and 1 is the dimension of the model do not commit this mistake 1 is to 10 if the scale ratio is given as 1 to 1 is to 10 then we if we want to write vp by vm then it will be 10 by 1 and if you want sorry lp by lm it will be 10 by 1 and if you want to write lm by lp then it is 1 by 10 so 10 by 1 is square into vp by vm vp is 10 meter per second and vm is 5 meter per second square so the answer will be 50 into 100 into 4 how much is that what is the answer what will be the answer option a will be the correct answer for the given question yes aspirant naruto well done a will be the right answer for this do you guys understand the question or not yes Rhea. option a twenty thousand newton so the force or the thrust will be proportional to l square into u square cd will remain constant cd depends on shape of the body it depends on reynold number it depends on surface roughness so nothing is mentioned about the roughness it means both are having the same type of roughness and because there is a dynamic similarity in model and prototype reynold number will be same and the shape of the bodies will also be same that is why cd will remain constant i hope this is clear to everyone the next question is from the thermodynamics entropy can you solve the next one can you guys try solving the next question the, this is the question which is number eight as shown in figure an ideal gas is confined to a cylinder by a piston. There is a piston cylinder arrangement. There is an ideal gas. The piston is pushed down slowly so that the gas temperature remains at 27 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> the temperature will be same. During the compression, 900 joule of work is done on the gas. During the compression, there is a force applied. Then is a work done on the system. There is a 900 joule of work is done on the gas. Find the entropy change of the gas. So we can say the temperature is constant according to first law of thermodynamics. Can we say Q is equal to W plus delta U? Because it is an ideal gas. So in case of ideal gas, U is a function of temperature only. So do you agree delta U is equal to 0? Delta U is equal to 0. So Q is equal to W. And what is W? W isn't it minus 900 Joule? Do you agree W is equal to work is done on the gas? So W is negative. W is negative. Work is done, done on the system. Work done by the system is positive. Work done on the system is negative. So there is some heat rejected from the system. Whatever the work done is equal to heat out. Isn't it? 
वट एवर दर्क इज डन ऑन द सिस्टम इज इक्वल टू हीट आउट बिकॉज देर इज नो चेंज इन द इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम आई होप दिस इज क्लियर Q will be equal to W for isothermal process undergone by an ideal gas. And now, if we talk about the entropy change, that is integration of del Q by T because the temperature is constant. Integration of del Q is Q, so we can say because heat is leaving from the system, so there is a decrease in internal and decrease in entropy. So positive value cannot be the right answer. So it is minus nine hundred. Divide by twenty seven plus two seventy three. Whenever the heat is rejected from the system, it will decrease the in, in entropy of the system. So it is minus nine hundred upon three hundred. So it will be minus three joule per kelvin. B is the correct answer for this one. Yes, guys, well done. The uh. Dikshita, Dikshit, sorry, Dikshit, good, good, Narotu, and uh, Ayush, great. Pejal World, कहाँ चले गए थे आप? Shreya, good, 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 good. So there is another series running on Byju's app. pre class is running on byju's app you can install the byju's app if you have not done it yet and this is my schedule for the next 4 days starting today so we will discuss we will have mock test based on fluid mechanics and thermal starting from today so at 7 pm do not forget to join me for checking your preparation level for the fluid mechanics and thermal and tomorrow again at 7 pm so ask your friends also to join me let us move to the next one this is question number 9 solve question number 9 quickly we are one third we have covered one third of the questions water having the kinematic viscosity they may not use the word kinematic because the stock is the unit of kinematic viscosity flows with a velocity of 2 meter per second in a pipe of 15 cm diameter for dynamic similarity the velocity of oil of kinematic viscosity again we are the question is from the model analysis the, the velocity of oil of kinematic viscosity in a pipe of the same diameter will be so can we say renold model law will be used what is the answer to this question question number 9 can you guys let me know the answer according to renold model law Renault number for first case will be equal to Renault number for second case. What is the Renault number? That is V into d by kinematic viscosity. Diameter remains same. Diameter remains constant. So V is proportional to kinematic viscosity. V is proportional to kinematic viscosity. So V two by V one is equal to nu two by nu one. Can you find out the value of V two? Either you use the Reynolds model, so V two is equal to what is V one? V one is two. Nu two is zero point zero three upon uh, nu one is zero point zero one. So two into three, it is very simple. Six meter per second is the correct answer. D is the right answer for the given question. ये कैसे आया? Dikshit, it is thick. Option D, it is option D, isn't it? Question number nine, option D is the right answer. Let us move to the next question. The question is again from the fluid mechanics, ah, uh, and it is from the hydrostatic forces. There is an inclined plate, two meter long and one meter wide. Lies. This is question number ten. An inclined plate, two meter long and one meter wide. Lies with its length inclined at forty-five degree to the surface of water. This is the water surface, let us say, and it is inclined at forty-five degree. This is, this is AB, and the length of AB is two meter, and one meter wide lies its length inclined at forty-five degree to the surface of water. This is the free surface, uh, and. it nearest edge is 1 meter below the it means this the depth of a is 1 meter from the free surface 
the nearest edge is 1 meter below it if the specific weight of water is 1000 kg per meter cube that is actually the density then the total pressure force on the plate in kilogram what does that mean it is means in kilogram force 1 kg f is equal to g newton so do not convert g into do not put g as 9.81 otherwise your answer will be in in otherwise your answer will be in newton so this is the center of gravity of the surface so what is the distance of center of gravity we call it as x bar from the free surface what is the value of x bar do you agree x bar is equal to 1 plus 1 sin 45 the distance between a and g is 1 meter because 2 meter is the total 2 meter is the total distance so 1 meter is the distance between a and g and we need to find out the depth of centroid from the free surface this is how the hydrostatic force will be acting it will be acting at cp so if we want to write the expression for hydrostatic force then we will write rho of water into g into area that is 2 into 1 into x bar 1 plus 1 into sine 45 so keep g as as it is so density of water is 1000 into 2 into 1 plus 1 by root 2 isn't it what is 1 plus 1 by root 2 root 2 plus 1 so it is around into g newton if you want to write in kgf it will be 2000 into 2.414 upon 1.414 kgf isn't it 1 g newton g newton is equal to 1 kgf so this will be the force exerted so it is less than 4000 kg it is less than 4000 kg can you solve it it will be around 3420 no it will not be c it will not be c 1 plus 1 by root 2 is nothing but what is 1 by root 2 points let me write this 1 by root 2 is equal to 0 0.707 isn't it you must memorize these values what is 1 by root 2? Do you guys memorize, remember this? 1 by root 2. 0 0.707. So, better to write 0 0.707. Then it will be... So, 0 0.7. What is... Sorry, it will be 1.707. Isn't it? It will be 1.707. So, 17 into... 2 it is around 3400 isn't it so 3420 will be the right answer the only catch here is you need to find your answer in kilogram force are you guys getting option d or not are you guys getting option d without calculator you can do the calculation the next question is again little lengthy and the question is from the Bernoulli equation Yes, Sreya, well done. Do not use the calculator and try to memorize uh, the, the value of root 2, 1 by root 2, root 3, 1 by root 3 like this. So that you will be able to get the nearest option to the correct answer. Exact answer may not be required. So the next question, a liquid of density 1200. It is not water. Do not commit these silly mistakes. Do not assume the fluid to be water. You need to have the density to be 1200 kg per meter cube is flowing this is question number 11 is flowing steadily through a tube of varying cross section as shown in figure the cross section at point a is 1 centimeter square and at b is 20 millimeter square convert it into centimeter 10 to the power minus 2 1 mm is 10 to the power minus 1 centimeter so so it will be 0 0.2 centimeter square isn't it the points A and B are in the same horizontal plane. What does that mean? Z, Z A is equal to Z B. The speed of the liquid at point A is, that is V A. What we, the pressure difference at A and B. We need to find out P A minus P B. First of all, try to understand. As the area decreases, velocity will increase, isn't it? If the velocity increases, pressure will decrease. So, we need to find out P A minus P B is how much? In Pascal. The units are in Pascal. So, first of all, Apply the continuity equation to find out the relation between VA and VB. So, we can say AA into VA 
is equal to AB into VB. What is area at A? That is 1. What is velocity at A? 10 centimeter per second. Convert it into meter. 0 0.1 meter per second. Is equal to what is area at B? That is 0.2 into VB. What is the value of VB? 1 by 2. So, VB is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second. First of all, find out the value of VB. Right? Then apply the Bernoulli equation. Or we can write in terms of pressure directly. Can we write PA plus ZA plus rho VA square by 2? Isn't it? Sorry, PA plus rho GZA. ZA is equal to ZP. So, PA plus rho VA square by 2 is equal to PB plus rho BB square by 2. So, PA minus PB is simply rho by 2 VB square minus VA square. So, if you will put the value 1200 divided by 2 into what is VB? 0 0.5 square minus VA that is 0 0.1 square. Put all the parameter into SI unit. So, that is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.01. So, it will be 0 0.24 into 60 Pascal. 0 0.24 multiplied by 600 Pascal. What is the answer? So, it will be 24 into 6. 24 into 6 Pascal will be the answer. 24 into 6 will be the answer. 24 into 6 will be the answer. Yes, Sreya, Naruto, Pajal World, great, Ayush. Well done, guys. I hope you understood the concept. Apply the continuity equation between A and B. Apply the Bernoulli equation. You will get the pressure difference. 24 into 6, 114 Pascal. The next question is again from the fluid mechanics. So many questions are asked. So many questions are asked from the fluid mechanics and thermal. This is question number 12. This is question number 12. A wooden plank having the specific gravity 0 0.5. So, what is the density of the plank? Density is 500 kg per meter cube. Do you agree? Of 1 meter by 1 meter by 0 0.5 meter floats in water with 1.5 kilonewton load on it. There is a load 1.5 kilonewton on it with 1 meter by 1 meter surface horizontal. So, it is like this. This is 0 0.5 and this is 1 meter. This is also 1 meter. And the weight is 1.5 kilonewton is loaded. The weight 1.5 kilonewton is loaded on it with 1 meter by 1 meter surface origin. The depth of the plank lying below the water surface shall be. The question is from the buoyancy and flotation. Let me assume the free surface to be like this. This is the free surface. Let me call this to be H. We need to find out the value of H. So, weight of the weight of the wooden plank is acting in downward direction plus the load 1.5 kilonewton is also acting in downward direction isn't it so the total weight in downward direction is weight of the plank plus 1.5 kilonewton isn't it and there is an upward force which is the buoyant force so for vertical equilibrium Buoyant force must be equal to weight of the plank plus 1.5 kilonewton. What is the buoyant force? Density of the fluid. It is water. Density of water into G. Can we write 1 into 1 into H is equal to what is the weight of the plank? Density of the plank rho P into G into total volume 1 into 1 into 0.5 plus 1.5 into 10 to the power 3. Can you do the calculation and find the answer? So, if we put as G as 10, so 1000 into 10 into H is equal to, it is 500 into 10 into 0 0.5 plus 1.5 into 10 to the power 3. If we simplify this 10 to the power 3, getting cancel out, 
10 to the power 3 getting cancel out so 10h is equal to 2.5 plus 1.5 is equal to 4 10h is equal to 4 and what is the value of h h is equal to 4 by 10 that is 0 0.4 your answer should be something around 0 0.4 so, H is around 0 0.4 meter. C. Why it is C? Because we have taken the acceleration due to gravity as 10. If we would have taken the acceleration due to gravity as 9.81, then our answer would have been 0 0.403. The nearest option will be the correct answer. This is question number 12. I hope this is clear to everyone. Pazel World, well done, Arnab, Ayush, great, Naruto, keep it up, guys. Please, you solve the question. There might be theoretical question also, so you should not commit the mistake in the standard theoretical type of question. Circulation is the scalar quantity. We can call it as macroscopic measure of rotation. Measure of rotation, what is circulation? That is vorticity into area of the closed curve. It is about the closed curve. So the circulation is the is the line integral of tangential component and velocity around a closed curve. Option B, yes. Nothing to explain here. Unstable equilibrium of a floating body. The next one. Yes, Deepak. In ISRO exam, the most important is your revision. The most important is the revision. Right? The most important is the revision. Just hold on. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, what is the answer to this one? For unstable equilibrium of a for unstable equilibrium of a floating body it is about the unstable you must remember mag for stable meta center must lie above g but because the question is about unstable equilibrium for a floating body meta, meta center must lie below the center of gravity b is the answer I hope you guys are able to hear me. B is the correct answer for this one. Right? So, we have completed question number 14. We are halfway now. So, few more questions are there with me. Mostly the questions were asked from the fluid mechanics and basic thermodynamics in 2014. What is the dimension of the viscosity? I want you guys to let me know the answer. Please you solve the question and give me the answer. Viscosity has the dimension of. Which viscosity we, we are talking about? It is the dynamic viscosity. We can call it as Pascal second, Newton second per meter square or kg per meter second. That is MKS unit or the CGS unit is dyne second per centimeter square or gram per centimeter second or poise so one poise is equal to 10 to the power minus one pascal second so it is kg per meter second so m1 l minus one t minus one d is the answer isn't it d will be the answer are you getting it yes pagel world Ayush, well done. Naruto, D will be the answer for this one. Viscosity. If it would have been about the kinematic viscosity, mu by rho, the unit would have been meter square per second. So it is L2 T minus 1 for kinematic viscosity, which is dynamic viscosity per unit density. 
the next question which of the following flow is rotational where u and v are the velocity component in x y and y direction respectively so we need to find out which one of them is rotational so we need to find out omega z that is half into del v by del x minus del u by del y can you find out between these two either both are rotational or one of them is rotational so if we talk about a what is omega z for a half into what is del v by del x that is 3 by 2 minus what is del u by del y that is 1 so it is not 0 it is rotational a is rotational let us try to find out b omega z half into what is del v by del x del v by del x that is 2xy minus del u by del y how much is that that is also 2xy that is equal to 0 so that is irrotational b is irrotational a is rotational a is irrotational b is sorry a is rotational and b is irrotational b is irrotational a is rotational question is about rotational so option a is the right answer not b isn't it the question is about finding the rotational flow i hope this is clear shall we proceed further now a will be the answer do not commit such type of mistakes in hurry people commit this type of mistakes read the question carefully and try to find out the option and after reading the question observe the options also a b and there the third option says a and b both without checking b without checking whether b is rotational or irrotational we cannot select a we need to check b also otherwise option c could have also been correct are you getting the point sometimes what happen People, students do not have a look to the options when they when they analyze option a and they find it as rotational they they tick mark option a but they do not see that option c is carrying a and b both that is where the silly mistakes happen so you should be clear of those things the next question again from the model analysis i think A pump which is running at 1000 rpm, it is a single pump running at 1000 rpm, consumes 1 kilowatt power and generates 10 meter of head of water. When it is operated at 2000 rpm, when the rpm changes, its power consumption P2 and generated head H2 will be how much? So, if you observe, look, if you observe the head you will find different values in each and every option. So, if, if the power output or power consumed is same in two or more options, but the head is different in each and every option, then you need to find out the head, generated head, so that no need to find out the power developed. Are you getting the point? Here you can see the head and power the uh, power consumed are having the different value in each and every option so either you calculate h or either you calculate h or you calculate power you will be able to select the right answer let us start with this u is given by pi dn by 60 u is proportional to d into n d is constant because it is a single pump it is not about model and prototype and u is proportional to v because phi is equal to u by v. So, v is proportional to n and v is given by root 2 g h. So, root h is proportional to n or we can say h is proportional to n square. This is the expression h will be proportional to x square h will be proportional to n square. So, h2 is equal to h1 into n2 by n1 square. Put the value h1 is 10 and n2 is 2000 divided by 1000 square so how much is that 440 meter d is the answer 40 meter 
what is the correct answer d will be the right answer you could have calculated the power also so power is overall efficiency is equal to power upon rho q g h so power is proportional to q into h isn't it or power is proportional to we can write it as d square into v into h isn't it so <clears throat> h can be written as v square d is constant so power is proportional to v into v square isn't it so v is proportional to n so power is proportional to n cube do you understand it so p2 will be equal to p1 what is p1 p1 is 1 into 2 cube that is 8 kilowatt power will be proportional to n cube that is why it will give you 8 kilowatt as the answer i hope this is clear so you could have calculated the power in terms of rpm you should be able to develop the relationship based on the given condition what is the answer to the next one question number 18 we are at question number 18 for irrotational fluid flow the curl of velocity vector what is curl of velocity vector that is what is it psi xi what is it is del cross v that is equal to curl of v if the flow is irrotational then it must be zero it must be zero option a yes and for incompressible flow for incompressible flow del dot v must be zero isn't it that is divergent of velocity vector must be zero for incompressible flow divergent of velocity must be zero and for irrotational flow curl of velocity must be zero the next question question number 19 we are at question number 19 an oil of kinematic viscosity is 0.5 stocks flows through a pipe of 20 centimeter diameter what is the velocity if the flow is critical what is the meaning of critical flow can you guys solve this one can you guys solve the question so critical flow is when the Reynolds number is critical. So we can say V critical into diameter by kinematic viscosity is equal to 2000. So critical velocity, the velocity for the critical flow is 2000 into kinematic viscosity. What is kinematic viscosity? 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 upon diameter 20 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, this is also 20 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, critical velocity, the velocity for the critical flow is 0 0.5 meter per second. Twenty to 10 to the power minus 2 getting cancelled out with this 2000 into 10 to the power minus 4. The null number must be 2000. So, the answer will be option A. It will be option A. Question number 19, option A is the right answer. Simple question. Let us move to the next one. We are having 8 more questions. Will we be able to complete before 1? Let us try. So, for the scholarship test, for other uh, links you can always go through the description box and guys do not forget to like and share this session i forgot to ask you but you guys are smart enough to like this session and share this session to all your friends and and subscribe our baiju's youtube channel so that the session reaches to all the mechanical engineers we want all the position all the vacancies of ISRO 2023 to be filled through Baiju's exam prep. All right. The next question is from the drag and lift. Can you solve this one? A vertical air stream flowing at a velocity of 100 meter per second supports a ball of 60 mm in diameter. This is the diameter. It is not the radius. 
taking the density of air as 1.2 kg per meter cube and the kinematic viscosity 1.6 stocks, the weight of the ball that is supported is. Can we say the weight of the ball which is always in acting in downward direction should be equal to the drag force? Do we consider the buoyant force or not? Buoyant force by air is very, very small. Because the fluid is air, that is the reason the buoyant force of air is very, very small. We can ignore the buoyant force. We can comfortably ignore the buoyant force by air. If it would have been some oil or any other fluid, then along with the drag force, the buoyant force should also have been there. All right. Getting it or not? Because the density of air is very small. So we can say W is equal to FD and FD is given by CD into projected area. If it is a spare, the projected area is the area of the circle into rho into U square by 2. So if we simplify or if we put the values, so W is equal to what is the drag coefficient? That is given as 0 0.8. Can you do the calculation? 0 0.8 into projected area. What is the projected area? Area pi by 4 d square. Pi by 4 into d square 60 into 10 to the power minus 3 square into rho by 2, 1.2 by 2 into u square, 100 square. Can you do the calculation? Now it is your turn. Are you getting option B? Pichle question ka B bata rahe hai, wale mein B aa rahe Kya bol rahe hai, page alwal? Drag half V hoga. Yes, can you solve it? So it will be minus 2 square. So it will be 0 0.8 into pi by 4 into 36 into 10 to the power minus 4, isn't it? Into 0 0.6 into 10 to the power 4. These two will get cancelled out. This will become 9. So 0 0.8 into 9 into 0 0.6 into pi will be the answer. Isn't it? Zero point four eight into nine into pi three point one four. So it is it can be taken as zero point five. 9 into 0.5. How much is 9 into 0.5? 4.5 into 3.14. Something around this. So it is more than 12. It is more than 12 Newton. It is more than 12 Newton. It is not that large. It is something around 13.5 Newton. Isn't it? We can call this 0 0.48 can be taken as uh, 0 0.5 something. We can take it as 0 0.5 to keep our, so 0 0.5 into 9 into 3. 4.5 into 3. 13.5. So it is around 4.5 into 3. It is 13.5. Alright, so let us move to the next one. Close to 13. Well done. That is how you can simplify your calculation. Question number 21 on your screen. The next one. The velocity distribution for flow over a flat plate is given by this expression in which u is the velocity in meter per second at a distance y meter above the plate. If the dynamic viscosity of the fluid is 10 poise, it is given in poise. So they will play with your units also. Then the shear stress at 0 0.2 meter is. Tau is given by mu into du by dy. Can you find me the answer? Mu is 1 pascal second. 10 poise is equal to 1 pascal second. So use SI unit. 
into du by dy. What is du by dy? That is 3 by 4 minus 2y. Tau. And at y is equal to 0 0.2 meter. So tau is equal to 3 by 4 minus 2 into 0 0.2. What is 3 by 4? That is 0 0.75. 0 0.75 minus 0 0.4. 0.35 B 0.35 will be the answer B will be the correct answer for this question question number 21 this is question number 22 read the question and try to find the answer for question number 22 Find the answer for question number 22. A sample of a gas specific, uh, sorry, this gamma adiabatic index specific heat ratio is 1.5 is taken through an adiabatic process in which the volume is compressed to from 1600 centimeter cube to 400 centimeter cube. Volume is decreasing, it is a compression. If the initial pressure P1 is 150 kilo kilopascal then how much will be the final pressure in the process so can we say for the adiabatic process can we say for an adiabatic process pv to the power gamma is constant pv to the power gamma is constant isn't it so p1 v1 to the power gamma is equal to p2 into v2 to the power gamma so p2 is equal to p1 into v1 by v2 to the power gamma what is the value? P1 is given as 150 kilopascal. Options, your answer should be in kilopascal. 150 into V1, 1600 by 400 to the power 1.5. What is 1.5? That is 3 by 2. So, 150 into 4 to the power 3 by 2. So, we can call it as 150 into 2 cube. Isn't it? It will be 2 cube. 2 cube that is P2. So 150 into 8. What is the answer? What is the answer? Isn't it 1200 kilopascal? Are you getting it or not? 150 into 8, that is 1200 kilo Pascal. Yes, aspirant, Shriya, welcome, well done. Good, good, good. Keep it up. 1200 kilo Pascal. The next question, it says, that is again from the basic thermodynamics, one mole of monoatomic gas is taken through a cycle A, B, C, D, A, then B, then C, then D, then A. As shown in PV diagram, column 2 gives the characteristics involved in the cycle. Characteristic, column 2 involves the characteristic involved in the cycle. Match the process A to B. We want about process A to B. This is process A to B. With the processes given in the column 2, with the characteristics, with the characteristics given in the column 2. So, process A to B what are the characteristic process A to B will involve? One is it is the constant pressure process. Isn't it? A to B will be the constant pressure process. Can you find out the options? These are the options. The options are given on the left hand side. Can you solve this and find out the option? Answer, correct answer. Yes, your turn. Find out the answer. If it is constant volume, we can say vol a constant pressure volume is directly proportional to temperature. And you can see volume is decreasing. It is compression, constant pressure compression. It is a compression. So it means volume is decreasing. So temperature will also decrease. And if the temperature is decreasing, so the internal energy will also decrease. Isn't it? 
सो फॉर प्रोसेस ए टू बी इंटरनल एनर्जी विल डिक्रीज एंड इफ देर इज अ डिक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर इट मीन्स heat will be lost from the system if there is a decrease in temperature then heat will be lost from the q will also decrease or q q will be negative if the internal energy will decrease then q will be negative heat will be lost and heat, because it is a compression process and for compression work is also negative work is done on the system work is done on the gas isn't it work will be done on the gas compression work is work is done on the gas so p r n t p r n t will be the right answer option c well done aspirant arnab ayush good 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 keep it up are you able to understand the question is little complicated the language of the question is little complicated what is the answer to this question who will give me the correct answer for this one quickly this is question number 24 we are having three more question after this and then i will invite suraj sir to discuss his portion of the questions in isro 2014 all right so i will take around 5 to 5 to 7 more minutes what is the answer everyone suraj sir is already here waiting so guys do not go anywhere till the end of the session after me suraj sir will be taking some beautiful subjects he will be discussing the beautiful subjects uh, Uh, heat transfer industrial engineering theory of machine etc so what is the answer to this question isn't it option c that is where people commit mistake look mu is given as kinematic viscosity isn't it given as kinematic viscosity so mu is actually nu we use the notation Nota notation can be anything notation can be given anything it can be mu or nu but if they are mentioning it as kinematic viscosity then your answer will be option c that is how you should always be attentive because every single question is important are you getting the question answer or not? nobody has has given me the right answer notation dekhna zaruri hota hai tabhi to always read the complete question always uh, always uh, have a look to the option given understand the question properly look to the figure everything units and dimension very very important so question number 24 option c is the right answer let us move to question number 25 a steam engine intakes 100 g of steam at 100 degree celsius per minute it means that is mass flow rate of steam 100 g per second per second at 100 degree celsius and cools it down to 20 degree celsius so the temperature is decreasing to 20 degree celsius that is the final temperature calculate the heat rejected by the steam so there will be two processes one is steam at 100 degree celsius will convert into steam at 0 degree celsius first of all steam at 100 degree celsius will be converting into then there is a latent heat the second process will be sorry i committed the mistake steam at 100 degree celsius will be converted into water at 100 degree celsius then it is latent heat steam will be converted into water that is phase change first process will be phase change process temperature will remain constant then water at 100 degree celsius will convert it into water at 20 degree celsius then it is sensible heat isn't it so this is how the heat loss will be taking place in two ways so the total heat loss the total heat loss will be how much the total heat loss is mass flow rate of the steam into latent heat plus then there is a phase, uh, there is a temperature change 
so the, it will be it will be decrease in the internal energy so the mass flow rate again steam or water we can call it as mass flow rate of water into cp into delta t 100 minus 20 that will be the total heat loss in cal so you need to take care of the unit what is the answer look mass flow rate of the steam is 100 gram per second is per minute sorry 100 gram per minute what is the latent heat latent heat of vaporization is 540 calorie per gram so this is calorie per minute so 100 into 540 calorie per minute plus mass flow rate of water is again 100 gram cp is 1 calorie per gram per degree celsius that is 1 into 100 minus 20 that is 80 so the unit is calorie per it is calorie per minute per minute calculate the heat is detected by the steam per minute per minute is already there so it is calorie so 540 into 100 54 why i am writing 45 so it will be 54000 plus 800 so 54000 plus 8000 how much is that 62000 calorie per minute can we call it as 6.2 into 10 to the power 4 calorie per minute c is the answer 6.2 into 10 to the power 4 yes option c will be the correct answer for this one let us move to the second last question for from my side 26 question number 26 very very simple question number 26 is very simple a heat engine operates between a cold reservoir at a temperature t2 that is 300 kelvin there is a heat engine this is 300 kelvin and this is t1 and a hot reservoir at temperature t1 it takes 200 joule of heat from the hot reservoir q1 is equal to 200 joule and delivers 120 joule q2 is equal to 120 joule of heat to the cold reservoir so if it is an engine can we find out the work Can we find out the work, work output from the first law of thermodynamics W will be equal to Q1 minus Q2 200 minus 120 that is equal to 80 joule. So the question is what is the efficiency of the engine? The thermal efficiency of the engine is W output upon Q in. What is the work output that is 80 upon 200? So it will be 4 by 10. Or 4 by 10 means 40 percent is the efficiency yes and if it would have been if it would have been a reversible engine if it would have been a reversible engine would have been a reversible engine then the thermal efficiency could have been written as 1 minus t2 by t1 so we could have calculated t2 in that case t1 in that case we could have calculated T1 in that case. But it is not a reversible engine. That is why our answer for the thermal efficiency will be 14%. All right. Good to go. Hi, Rashad. Bada late I up. Ayush, well done. Good, good. And the last question is actually beautiful. Question number 27. A spherical balloon, I don't know whether it is from thermodynamics, heat transfer or basic science or basic engineering. Let's just I please do let me know if Dheera sir had included this question or not. A spherical balloon is filled with this much cubic meter cube of helium gas. So initial volume V1 is equal to 3536 pi meter cube of helium. If a leak in the balloon causes the gas to escape at the rate of 75 cubic meter per minute. So the change in volume with time is equal to minus 70 pi meter cube per minute. Isn't it? Why minus? Because there is a leakage. So there is a decrease in volume. It will decrease in volume that is given. And the rate in meter per minute, the rate in meter per minute at which the radius of the balloon decreases 50 minutes after the leakage began is. We need to find out dr by dt when t is equal to 50 minute that is our question we need to find out dr by dt at t is equal to 50 minutes are you getting the question 
in meter per minute our answers must be in meter per minute can you do the can you do the can you guys solve it so volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube can we write dv by dt is equal to 4 by 3 pi into 3 r square into dr by dt isn't it 3 3 getting cancel out this is our equation number one dv by dt is known to us if we can find out r we can find out dr by dt this is our equation number one let me write it as equation number one 4 pi into r square 4 pi into r square into dr by dt so dv by dt is known to us if we can find out r at t is equal to 50 minutes our objective is to find out r at t is equal to 50 minutes so how to do that look as we know dv by dt is given as minus 70 pi isn't it dv by dt is given as minus 70 pi so can we write can we integrate this can we integrate this then can we write v is equal to minus 70 pi into t plus constant so at t is equal to 0 v is that is v1 is equal to 3536 pi isn't it at t is equal to 0 3536 pi so at t is equal to 0 v is equal to this so c will be equal to 3536 pi put the value here so the volume is given as so the volume will be given as minus 70 pi t plus 3536 pi this is the expression for volume and volume can be written as 4 by 3 pi into r into cube volume can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube can we find out at t is equal to 50 minute at t is equal to 50 minutes can we find out the volume or can we find out the radius at t is equal to 50 minutes it is minus 70 pi into 50 plus 353 uh, 3536 pi is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube pi 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 getting cancelled out from each and every term so it will be minus 3500 plus 3536 is equal to 4 by 3 into r cube so it, how much it will be it will be 36 36 is equal to 4 by 3 r cube so r cube will be equal to 3 into 36 upon 4 so r cube will be 27 r cube will be equal to 27 isn't it so r cube will be 27 or we can say r will be equal to cube root of 27 3 meter so at t is equal to 50 minute r is equal to 3 meter and if we put the value in equation number 1 put in equation number 1 so we can find out put r is equal to 3 meter then we can find out from equation number 1 dv by dt is minus 70 pi is equal to 4 pi into r square that is 3 square into dr by dt can you find out the value of dr by dt pi pi getting cancel out so it will be minus 70 divided by 36 that is dr by dt what is the answer there is a negative sign because that radius is decreasing why it is negative sign because the radius is decreasing so dr by dt is equal to minus 35 by 18 meter per minute isn't it 35 by 18 d will be the right answer for this one so this is all from my side guys thank you very much this is all from my side and let us invite sura sir to take his portion and then it will be over the complete paper will be over so you can connect with me through the mail id and you can join me on the telegram so that is all from my side guys thank you very much for joining and and enjoy the remaining part of the session let me take your leave now see you in the in the session uh, in evening at 5 pm we will be having a youtube session for previous five year question and at 7 pm on the app 
दैट इज इसरो प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर फॉर फ्यूड मैकेनिक्स एंड थर्मल थैंक यू गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड सूरज सर ओवर टू यू नाउ Hello, uh, good afternoon, guys. I know you are actively involved from the last two hours, so I won't be taking much time. In half an hour, we'll try to cover the rest of the questions. So, very good afternoon, all of you. Please do let me know whether my audio and video is all good, all perfect. Hello, Arna, Aspiran, Shreya, uh, Vinod. As a Vinod <laughs> from Panchayat. Okay, good evening. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. <clears throat> all good. All good. All good. Hello, Naruto. Good evening. Uh, good afternoon. I mean, good evening. Nikalta hai. All good. Chaliye. So, without waiting, wasting much of the time, let's quickly start the session and let us co uh, cover all the rest portion. I'll be taking industrial mechanics, theory of machine, and heat transfer four subjects. But I would say it will be equivalent to three subjects only because industrial is next to zero only. Okay. If you see the last patterns, five years, one or two question at max they are asking from industrial. So we'll be discussing the rest of the questions, whatever is being left out in quick span of time. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. So I, I hope everyone has connected with me. I'm don't. I'm not going over there. And Rakesh sir, you might have got the information. He'll be coming up live tonight at 7:30. The description is there in the link for this gate workshop. Chaliye. So let's begin with the first question for the theory of machine. The fundamental natural frequency of cantilever beam with a point load P acting at the free end in radian per second. Very easy question from the natural vibration. Quickly, they are asking you what is the natural fundamental natural frequency omega n uh, value. Simple question. A, A, okay, okay, very good. Bhai, dekho, jada samay nahi lena. Won't be taking more than 30 seconds to solve these kind of question. What is the static deflection cantilever beam? That is equal to 3 e, uh, PL cube by 3 EI. Hana? It will be PL cube by 3 EI. PL cube by 3 EI, right? So, omega n Rayleigh's method is equal to under root of G by delta. That is equal to uh, G into 3 EI divided by a PL cube root of this. So option A is a correct answer. Please see the uh, units also. If they're asking in hertz, then your answer will be different. Okay, then your answer C will be the correct answer. Just like I think Aspen has given. Very good enough. Okay, please see the units because normally in natural vibration, either they'll be asking in hertz or they'll be asking in radian per second. They're asking directly uh, in radian per second. So option A is a correct answer. C will be correct if they're asking in hertz. Okay. Clear? Next question. I think there won't be having any doubt in this problem. Chale? Aray, yaar, jaldi bolo. Let's uh, uh, fill the comment section quickly. Option A is a correct answer. Chale, next question. Question number two on the screen. Determine the number of degrees of freedom used in the analysis of the mechanical system of the below mentioned. Quickly, what will be the degree of freedom of this particular system shown on the figure? 10 seconds. Chalo, 20 seconds, not more than that. What is the degree of freedom? Degree of freedom. Dekho, you will be saying, sir, uh, how we can uh, calculate, we have to convert the spring into two links because one spring is equivalent to two links and one binary joint. Bhool job. SNE. Go with the basic concept. What is degree of freedom? It is a minimum, uh, we can say it is a number of independent variables required to define the motion. Anna? Fine. So tell me one thing. This roller, you can rotate independently. This roller also you can rotate independently, right? Okay, if I say this A and C is connected, if you try to move C, A will be automatically moved. B is an independent. So quickly tell me what is the degree of freedom? What is the degree of freedom? Very simple question. You uh, analyze with a simple concept. If you try to provide motion to the roller, okay, now they have not mentioned anything about uh, the friction. So definitely we can take it as the frictionless also, right? So they have not mentioned and the, they have not even given the two also. So, jo do the bowl hai na, the answer is two, is just not correct. So, what is the degree of freedom? Can we say we can have this two rollers will be having independent motions? We can have this B can provide an independent motion, right? Okay. And secondly, A and C is connected directly. I can say either A or C, I can provide the motion. If I'm providing motion at C, A will be automatically moved. So, there are four independent variables will be required to define the motion. Option D is a correct answer. Okay, right. Option D is a correct answer. Very straightforward, common definition based. Tha. It was a con concept based uh, question from the degree of freedom theory of machines. Okay, 
can we proceed option d is correct a very good ramesh mohan very good uh, naruto a is not correct i hope so now this is being clarified okay aspirant very good next question the difference in the potential energies between two arbitrary positions a downward displacement x1 and x2 is that means they are having a, a displacement of x2 minus x1 then what is the potential energy difference very easy question see the options and do let me know what is the correct answer. It is half into k x1 minus x2 whole square. Bilkul nahi ho sakta. Half into k x2 square minus x1 square. Half into k x1 square minus x2 square. Half into k x1 minus x2. So A and D we can directly eliminate. Let's con uh, consider between B and C. What is the correct answer? A, B, C or D. Simple question hai. What is the difference between the potential energy at two arbitrary positions? Okay, so initially it was at x1, finer we are having x2, can we say it is half x2 square minus half, a uh, half k x2 square minus half k x1 square, there will be the resistance between the uh, uh, potential energy. Final minus initial, initial position is x1, final position is x2, simple you have to subtract the potential energy at the two locations, that said option B is the correct answer, half k x square right half k x2 square minus half k x1 square this is the difference between the potential energies option b is the correct answer Bohut badia. very good next question on the screen uh from the correlates acceleration very easy are this you will be taking 20 seconds you should take 20 seconds not more than that in the figure shown below the relative velocity of link one with respect to two is 15 meter per second velocity is given 15 meter per second and the link 2 rotates with an angular velocity of uh, 150 meter per second, uh, 150 uh, rpm. Okay, then what is the magnitude of the Coriolis acceleration? Simple calculation. The Coriolis acceleration is equal to 2 into V into omega, 2 into velocity is 15, that is 2 into pi into 15 by 60. So this is 450, 60. Cancel out, this is 15 pi. 15 pi 3, uh, somewhere around 450 says other. It should be more than 450. Option D is a correct answer. 471. 3 into 15, 450. Uh, 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 we can say 4. Uh, 450 says somewhere around Zada. Okay. Clear. Hai? Right. 150. And this is 150. 150 pi. Haha, exactly. Chali, next question on the screen. Uh, question number fifth. Determine uh, the equivalent mass and equivalent stiffness for the system shown below. When x is the downward displacement of the block measured from the system's equilibrium position used in the generalized coordinate. I, we can take it as a moment of inertia of the wheel. Very easy question. You have to tell me what is the equivalent mass and what is the equivalent stiffness. Now, if you see the two springs, they are connected at the two end of the mass and the two ends are connected with the fixed end. Can we say this is in series or parallel? The springs are connected in series or parallel. This is connected in parallel. So, we can say the k equivalent will be equal to 3k. Simple. k equivalent is equal to 3k. So, we can eliminate option D. Option D is not correct. Now, we have to select between A, B and C. Now, if you see clearly, they are talking about what is the equivalent mass. So, equivalent mass, this is your m plus the moment of inertia is i, i divided by r square. So, m plus i by r square, m plus i by r square, option uh, A is the correct answer. By you can eliminate option B because m r square is not having the unit of mass. It is kg uh, uh, meter square. Okay, fine. So, by that also we can see. And see, we cannot have a difference. It is being added. Okay. Fine. Option A is the correct answer. Very good. Simple question from the concept of theory of machine. Next question on the screen. Question number 6 is uh, find out the correct free body diagram of the middle mass for the given spring mass system as shown in the figure below. Now, there are three masses. Okay. We are having at the center 2M, 2M and M. And there is a spring being connected. So, you have to tell me which of the following is the correct free body diagram of the center mass. Beach wala mass. Ye wala mass ka. Okay. Quickly. 
what is the free body diagram of this end now if you see on the right hand side we are having a single spring right so and the deflection will be x3 minus x2 so if i try to see on the right hand side will be having a force of k into x3 minus x2 so let us see is there any option uh, x3 minus x2 x3 this is being eliminated this is not possible between a and b we have to select now on the left hand side we are having two springs okay we are having two springs so can we say that uh, on this particular spring on this particular spring will be what will be the deflection on this particular spring will be having x2 minus x1 on this particular spring will be having x2 minus x1 so x2 minus x1 so what will be the answer a or b yes x2 minus x1 hoga na? or over there will be having there is 2k into x2 minus x1 so what is the correct answer option b is the correct answer is this clear option b question number sixth option b is the correct answer right done just we have to see what is the deflection happening on the right hand side perfect hai. on the left hand side will be having the net deflection will be x2 minus x1 on the right hand side will be having x3 minus x2 so this is the simple calculation that we are having option b is a correct answer perfect now always remember in isro examination one uh, simple tip i want to give you concentrate on eliminating some options concentrate on eliminating some options by doing so you will be able to get correct answer more easily next question very easy question from the concept of force vibration for what value of m mass will resonance occur for the spring mass system given below with spring constant they have given some spring constant value you have to tell me what will be the mass m for the resonance condition now at resonance what is happening your omega is equal to omega in right and if you see there is a unbalanced force being created what is equal to f naught is equal or f unbalanced is equal to f naught sine omega t so from here omega is equal to 50 uh, radian per second 50 radian per second right okay so we got the value of omega we know the value of omega n so from there we can get the value of mass can you tell me what is the answer calculator do not use the calculator please make sure you are not using the calculator very easy question so uh, k equivalent now what is k equivalent that there are two springs connected in parallel right so i can say this is equal to 2 plus 1 3 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter right so from here i can say omega n is equal to under root of k equivalent by m so k equivalent that is uh, that is equal to 50 right? so this is 50 square is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 5 by m so m is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 5 by 25 into 100 this will be a 3 so this is 25 so what is the one value it will be 325 24 uh, that will be 120 120 kgs are we getting 120 kgs option d is a correct answer 120 very good 120 kgs okay option d is the correct answer done Perfect. Very good. Very good. Everyone. Aspirant, uh, World, Shreya, Arab, Naruto. Is this clear? Option D, 120 kgs. Perfect. Hey, next question on the screen. From the heat transfer. Look, heat transfer, say we, they are asking a lot many questions from the ISRO examination perspective. A surface A in the figure is coated with white paint and maintained at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. And it is located directly opposite to surface B, which is considered as a black body maintained at a temperature of 727 degrees celsius right calculate the amount of heat that needs to be removed from the surface a per unit area to maintain its constant temperature consider the emissivity of the white paint as one the shape factor or view factor as one stephen boltzmann you can test take it as well very easy question from the concept of uh, your uh, uh, stephen boltzmann's equation simple question there are two plates that means this is equal to 1000 kelvin uh, this is equal to 300 kelvin right now both they are saying that the emissivity of the both the surface is equal to one this is also equal to one this is also equal to one there is no there is no uh, surface resistance and the shape factor is equal to one i can simply say that e is equal to sigma t1 to the power 4 minus t to the power 4 right okay divided by area right and because emissivity is one for both the scenario so we can directly take this as a value so this is uh, 1000 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 is this clear okay so we can take this is uh, take 
100 common so this is 100 to the power 4 into uh, this will be 1000 right minus uh, this will be uh, 9 right? yes uh, 100 to the power 4 huh? 100 to the power 4 will be common so this will be 1 2 3 4 huh? take it right sorry 10,000 10,000 minus 9 Oh, 9 to the power 81, 81, sorry, 81. Okay, so this will be 10 to the power 8. So this will be 9, 9, uh, 9, 9, 9, 1 into 10 to the power 8 sigma. Double 9, 1, 9. Option A, double 9, 1, 9. Option A, by 3 to the power 4 is 81. So, 10,000 minus 81 is 9919 into 10 to the power 8 sigma, uh, this one, watt per meter square. Option A is a correct answer. Very good. Normally, we, we always remember that when you are attempting any question from this row, calculator is lagna hi nahi chahiye. If calculator is required, that means your approach is incorrect. Okay. Chale, next question. The convective heat transfer coefficient is defined by the relationship between masses M, Cp, specific heat case, thermal conductivity Q is the heat flow rate. Uh, nusle number is nu l is thickness delta d is the temperature difference <coughs> huh. exactly exactly ramesh one we have taken that common 100 to the power 4 we have taken that common so uh, this will be uh, 10000 minus 81 huh. correct correct that is the answer i think that is we are getting okay clear so the next question what is the answer for this how we can write the formula of Convective heat transfer coefficient, bhai, ye nahi hota. Ye bhi nahi hota. This is also not possible. We are only left out with option C. Now, there is a doubt that many students will be having, sir. They have given the heat flow read. So, it should be your heat flux. It should be your heat flux. Then only this is an like appropriation because Q is equal to uh, H into delta T. So, from NS is equal to Q by delta T. Okay. So, it should be heat flux. Right. Now, if I talk about option D, option D, how we can say this is option D is correct? How we can say option D is correct? Nassar number, what is Nassar number? That is HLC by K. It is not twice of L. Okay, it is not twice of L. Unless and until they are not mentioning about the average or uh, any local value. So, we have to consider a standard formulation. Right? Understood? Clear? Hai? It is not two times, never ever. If they are writing hx, the local convective heat transfer coefficient, L is the length of the plate, then we can say 2 into hs is the average convective heat transfer coefficient. Okay. I can say that if I say hx is equal to, uh, we need to, we need to uh, tell the L is the length of the plate, right? Because hs is equal to 2 times, uh, sorry, hl, hl is equal to, or I can say that h bar is equal to 2 times of hx. This is correct. Okay, for, for that, they have to mention local convective heat transfer. You cannot assume that value. You cannot assume uh, in the question paper, right? So, whenever you are having this kind of scenario, always try to uh, mark that option which is more closer, which is more correct. So, option C is the correct answer, right? Okay, clear? And that too, it is only possible in the laminar flow. In the laminar flow only. In, in, in turbulent flow, it is 1.25 times. In turbulent flow, h bar is equal to 1.25 of hx, right? So, definitely it is not appropriate unless and they are giving some additional information. Clear, right? Chali, next question, can we proceed? Option C is a correct answer. Next question from the uh, heat transfer only. So, let's see what is the question. The figure below shows a cross-sectional through an insulated heating pipe which is made of a steel. K value is given with the inner radius of 150 mm and outer radius of 155 the pipe is coated with 100 mm of thickness of insulation having a thermal conductivity of 0 0.06 air at the inlet flows at 60 degree flow through a pipe and has a value of coefficient of uh, convective heat transfer coefficient of 35 outside are bahut bada question hai what is they are asking let us see critical radius of insulation they are asking critical radius of insulation it's basically a one line answer it's so lengthy it's like basically kitna hai 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 8, 8 to 9 statement and the answer will be a single line. So, question is, what is the critical radius of insulation? This is a pipe, right? This is a pipe. So, it is equal to K of insulation by H. K of insulation by H. Now, what is the insulation? Insulation is this one. 
right so that is 0 0.06 divided by uh, we have to take the outer one outer one is 10 so this is 10 so that is equal to 6 mm is there any answer option d 14 kaise aa raha bhai insulator we always take the we never ever take the pipe critical thickness or oh, the thermal conductivity we always take the insulator okay there are some very uh, redundant data is given there are highly redundant data is given which is not at all required in this particular problem okay they are only being given in order to confuse you that's it please remember whenever you are solving and heat transfer say a critical radius question every time they are asking every year you name it 2014 onwards to 2020 uh, they are always asking a question from this because there is a possibility that students will be committing mistake because sometimes they are asking the thickness of uh, critical thickness some they are asking the radius okay sometimes they'll be giving you some additional information which is not at all required okay so from here i can say option d is a correct answer a single like the question was so lengthy and the answer is only two liner if i'm not uh, writing the formula i can directly say it's a two line question okay done clear hai? that is the beauty of isro exam next question a bar of copper of length 75 centimeter and steel bar of 20, 125 centimeter are joined together end to end okay let's say this is temperature t uh, the bar is having a same diameter that is 2 cm. The free ends of the steel are at 100 and 0 degrees Celsius. What is the approximate temperature at the steel uh, copper junction? Copper steel junction. That means they are asking what is the temperature at the junction. T value they, you need to calculate. So approximately 95, 93, 90 or 89. That They are asking the simple question. What is the value of the temperature at the interface? Sir, imply the Fourier's law. Apply the Fourier's law, I can say 100 minus T divided by 75 by copper ka thermal conductivity is 400 into A is equal to T minus 0 divided by 125, iska kitna hai 50 into A, right? So this is 3, this is 5, this is basically uh, 8, hai na? A get cancelled out, so this is your 40 into 100 minus T uh, that is equal to 3T. So, this is 40,000, uh, sorry, not 40,000, 4,000. 4,000 is equal to 43T or T is equal to 4,000 divided by 43, somewhere around 90 something. What is the value? 92, 93. 92, 93 around Anashi. So, I think approximately we can go with option B. Okay, world is also giving me option B. Devesh, uh, what is the value you are getting? Aspirant, Naruto, Ramesh Mohan, Shreya. Are we getting option B approximately 93 degrees Celsius? Please do check the value. I think it should be somewhere around that only. Okay, B, very good. So, two confirmation from your side, one confirmation from my side. So, total three confirmation. Ramesman also confirmed. So, option B is the correct answer. 93 degrees Celsius. Let us proceed to the next question on the screen. Very good, Arnab. Very good. 93.02. I hope so. You are not using the calculator to solve this question. Okay. Calculator mat use ki jay. Try to apply uh, simple calculation. Chalo, next question. Ho gaya ye. Haan. Which type of gear meshing should be employed to transmit torque to a linear force? Which type of gear meshing should be employed to transmit torque to a linear force? Simple question, epicyclic, helical, bevel or rack and pinion. In which of the following gear we are basically trying to transmit the torque to a linear force? Simple question, if rack and pinion, rack and pinion we are getting a linear force. Option D, option D is a correct answer. Oh, so you might have seen rack and pinion is an arrangement that you are seeing in a steering also. Automobile steering may be used kiya jata hai. Not nowadays, but before we were using rack and pinion. Abhi to advance aa gaya hai. Right? Chari, next question, question number 13. Two bodies A and B are having equal surface area maintained at 10 degree and 20 degree Celsius. The energy of thermal radiations emitted in a given time by A and B are in the ratio of. Now, they are talking about thermal radiation. So, emissions are always t to the power 4. So, we are having 283 Kelvin, 283 Kelvin of body A and we are having 2, 293 Kelvin of body B, right? So, we can say 
e1 by e2 is equal to 283 divided by 293 to the power 4 or I can say uh, if you take the ratio it is 1 upon 293 by 283 kitna aara hai try to solve it one point something you wanna see option uh, B are we getting option B oh sorry option A <clears throat> yes are we getting option A one is to one point something option A yoga na? option A they go one point something cup square yeah four times crore it will be near about to that value only it won't be two times okay one point one four nine it is basically one point one four nine it won't be two times four times five times no you can directly eliminate that option A is again other option may hota one point one five or one point 25 then we have to do some calculation but isro hai calculator required nahi hai so we can directly go for that chali next question is this clear how we have eliminated option b c and d are you able to understand this chali next question on the screen question number 14th is from the concept of uh, heat transfer a hot liquid is kept in a big room and its temperature theta is plotted as a function of time which of the following curve represent the plot this is not curved. This is curved D. This is not curved. <laughs> okay. Curved D, curve B, C, or A. Which there is a hot liquid kept in a big room and it is losing heat. Right. So, which of the uh, profile is telling us about the temperature gradient? Temperature profile kya hai? A, B, C, or D. <laughs> Remember one thing. Remember one thing. <clears throat> if you have uh, seen a very simple concept now if you try to visualize they are saying big room hot liquid so kahin na kahin, can we say this is a concept of your transient heat this is a concept of transient heat yes can we say this is the concept of transient heat it will be losing the heat in an uh, it initially the uh, the cooling rate the slope will be very high and after that the cooling rate slope will be low Starting may the slope will be high and after the slope will be less. So curve D to hoga hi nahi. Option A to not possible. Not possible. Curve D ke so Are we having a constant temperature? After that, this is a temperature drop exponentially decrease hoga. Now B is also not possible. B is also not possible. Now we are with C and A. Now tell me when anybody is losing heat at the starting, the slope will be very high. And at some point of time, the slope will be less. You might have seen, let us suppose I am heating this body, I am keeping in a, in a big room. So, at the starting, the rate of change of temperature with this through time will be very high. But after, let us suppose 1 hour, the rate of change of temperature will be very less. So, slope starting may zada, after the slope is less. So, which is the correct option, uh, curve A or curve C? Definitely curve A, option D. Curve A, option D. I think many students have given A, which means curve A, not option A. <laughs> okay. The student who are given A, that is curve A. I, also, I presume that. Okay? Exactly. Very good. Haan, very good. Very good. Curve A is a correct answer, not option A. Okay. Chali, next question on the screen. I hope so. This is clear. Yes. Chali, sir. Jaldi khatam karna hai. Bhai, do se pehle, I would want to make you free. The Grashoff number is defined as G is gravitational acceleration, B it has volumetric thermal expansion coefficient, delta T is temperature difference, L is the characteristic length. <laughs> exactly. Uh, mu is the viscosity and uh, nu is the kinematic viscosity. So they have given the correct notations. I think in, in one of the fluid mechanics question, they have given the opposite of notation. So make sure you are reading the question carefully. A, B, C or D, definitely option C is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. Grashoff number is basically G beta delta T L Q by kinematic viscosity ka square option C correct answer next question question number 16 the Rayleigh number is defined as the Rayleigh number is a product of Grashoff into Prandtl we can also say this is equal to Peclet number option C is the correct answer Are C C Reynolds ka se aagya. it won't be Reynolds number Rayleigh number we are defining in we are defining the Rayleigh number yes in in the free convection in free convection yes ah no ah not peclet peclet nahi hoga peclet to different hai peclet is is Reynolds into 
रिनॉल्ड नंबर इन टू योर प्राइंटल नंबर सेक्लेट इज अब रिनॉल्ड इन टू प्राइंटल एक्सैक्टली देर आस्किंग अबाउट रेले नंबर ओके सो ऑप्शन सी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन ई इज पेक्लेट ओके एंड विच वी आर यूजिंग इन द फोर्स कन्वेक्शन फोर्स कन्वेक्शन ओके ग्रैश ऑफ इन टू प्राइंटल एंड आई होप्स यू रिमेम्बर वट इज द रेंज फॉर लैमिनर टब फॉर ग्रैश योर फ्री कन्वेक्शन इफ योर रेले नंबर इज लेस टेन टू दावर इलेवन इट्स अ लैमिनर फ्लो मोर देन टेन टू दावर इलेवन इट्स अ टर्बिनेट फ्लो इन फ्री कन्वेक्शन ओके चले नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेवेंटींथ ऑन द स्क्रीन इज दिस क्लियर वैल्यू वैल्यू द दिस वन इज डिफरेंट है ना वैल्यूज की बात कर रहे हैं चले नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन For two bodies having direct impact, the coefficient of restitution is given by a simple question: What is the value of e? It is equal to the ratio of velocity of approach by velocity of separation, velocity of separation by velocity of approach, initial velocity to the final velocity. None of the above. C or D, so eliminate directly. What is what is the coefficient of restitution? Velocity of approach by velocity of separation, or velocity of separation by velocity of approach? Option B is a correct answer. It is v2 minus v1 divided by u1 minus u2. Velocity of separation divided by velocity of approach. Option B is the correct answer. Very good, very good, very good. Devesh, Arnab, World, Naruto, Ramesh, Mohan, absolutely correct. Chale, next question, 18th. A perfect frame is that which satisfies the equation. Which is the condition for perfect frame? It is 2J. What is the condition for perfect frame? N is equal to 3J minus 2. N is greater than uh, uh, your... 3j minus 2, n is less than 3j minus 2, or n is equal to 2j minus 3. A, B, C, or D. Trust topic में हमने पढ़ा हुआ. You might have studied this in the trust topic. Option A, B, C, or D. Perfect frame. 3j minus 2 or 2j minus 3? <laughs> Definitely. अरे, you won't be having both as a correct answer. A or D. B is not correct. C is not correct. Is it 2j minus 3 or 3j minus 2? Yes. अरे <coughs> confusion confusion हो रहा है. Tell me the correct answer. देखो whenever you're having a doubt, whenever you're having a doubt, okay, try to uh, apply the logic. Yes. हाँ 2j minus 3. देखो we know that this triangle is a perfect frame, है ना? We know that triangle is a perfect frame. This is link one, link two, link three. So n is equal to three, j is equal to three. If you try to place in option A, it will be uh, six minus two. That will be four. N is not equal to four, so option A is not correct. Right? If you are having a confusion now, if you see two j two into three minus three, that is equal to six minus three is three, and that is equal to n. So that is a perfect frame. Option D is a correct answer. If you feel any confusion like this during the examination, देखो होता है. Might be possible if you are studying lot many subjects, lot many formulas. So the chances of getting the mixed salad in in your brain. ठीक है तो mix veg जो curry होता है, सब्जी होता है, तो mix सब्जी बन सकता है. So we can eliminate like this by having the basic concept. ओके चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द टेंशन इन द केबल सपोर्टेड सपोर्टिंग अ लिफ्ट ऑफ वेट डब्ल्यू सो वी आर हैविंग अ लिफ्ट राइट एंड इट इज हैविंग अ वेट डब्ल्यू एंड वी आर हैविंग एन एक्सेलरेशन वाई गोइंग अपवर्ड इट इज मूविंग अपवर्ड सो व्हाट इज द फॉर्मुलेशन ऑफ द टेंशन टी सिंपल क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ टी ए बी सी डी भाई सिंपल है डी लंबर प्रिंसिपल टी माइनस डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एम इन ए राइट और टी इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू प्लस एम ए और आई कैन से टेक डब्ल्यू कॉमन दिस इज वन प्लस एम ए बाय एम जी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू इन टू वन प्लस ए बाय जी ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एवरी वन ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन इज इज क्लियर बाई सिंपल आई डोंट थिंक एनी एक्सप्लेनेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस अ बॉडी ऑफ वेट दिस लास्ट क्वेश्चन This is the last question. A body of weight 10 kg, which is CG at 25 centimeter from the axis of rotation. Let us suppose this is a body, right? And this kept at a distance of 25 centimeter from the axis of rotation. Okay, this 10 kg. Uh, to be balanced by another body of weight 5 kg, right? Uh, then what is the distance that I need to keep so that our system is balanced? Simple question. 
simple question take the moment about about the hinge point take the moment about the hinge point and tell me within 10 seconds the correct answer 2 cm 12.5 cm 50 cm a b c or d simple here 10 into 25 is equal to 5 into x x is equal to 50 centimeter option c is the correct answer you can take the moment and you can balance like this also or you can take the lever rule if you remember you might have studied this kind of questions in your jwe <laughs> okay 50 centimeters is the correct answer this is it from my side all the questions we have taken from industrial there was no question of industries basically from 2014 uh, heat transfer theory of machine and mechanics subjects so if you want resources if you want ebooks there is a uh, link in the description do download the free content of ebook and also for scholarship tests you can register yourself in the description okay fine so thank you guys for joining and patiently listening to this session from 11 a.m onwards so this is it you can download the pdf i'll be sharing the combined pdf not now after one hour because i'll be collecting from dhira sir and uh, chandra sir also i'll be collabing and you can download from my channel so thank you guys bye bye take care and uh, let's meet in the next session until then enjoy your preparation with byju's exam prep thank you bye bye uh any tentative date for isro exam sir they go normally from the date of notification it's like 90 days to 120 like max to max 90 days hota hai. Date se do ka beach ka hai. that is a tenure so uske basis pe we can say july end or uh, first week of uh, august that could be the tentative based on the last years of analysis Thik hai? so be ready for that Kabhi bhi exam ho, you should not be waiting for the day of examination. Before that, try to give uh, revision practice karte hai, and uh, in, in one fine day, you will be getting the date. Okay, don't worry about that. Clear? So, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Let's meet in the next session. Till then, enjoy your sessions at Baiju's Exam Prep, YouTube, Hindi, Mechanical and Civil Channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.